Number four, TCU at Baylor. For me, TCU at Baylor is a chance. It's an opportunity. What is it an opportunity for? Well, I know that these players weren't in the locker room and not on the field on this particular date, but doesn't it feel like this is an opportunity for TCU to avenge what can only be considered the worst loss in their program's history? The most impactful loss in their program's history. October 11th, 2014. What happened that day, Joel? Well, Trevon Boykin, Gary Patterson, and the Horn Frogs faced Baylor. Art Bryles, that Baylor team, two really good teams, best teams in the Big 12 that year. And Baylor beat them 61-58 in a absolute thriller. I can only hope USC-UCLA is as good as that game in 2014. Baylor 61, TCU 58. It's the only game TCU lost. It was on the road. It was at Baylor. They're going back to Baylor. That's why I say this is an avenge game. This is a chance to exercise the demons of that day. Why are those demons so significant, Joel? Why was that the worst loss in TCU's history? It kept them out of the playoff. The first year of the playoff gave us our biggest snub of the playoff era. If I look at all the teams that have been left out over the last eight years, the one team that I'm like, you know, they would have had a shot was TCU in 2014. I still, I, I, I wish we could have seen it. They were playing great at the end of the year. They were third in the final rankings before, well, not the final rankings, and, and the next to last rankings, they went out and they beat, I believe it was, was it Iowa State? And I think they beat them by 50 or more. It was like 55 nothing, and dropped to sixth. It was egregious. The Big 12 really screwed them because they tried to walk the tightrope of, of saying that Baylor and TCU were co-champions. They should have picked one and gone with them, but they didn't. And TCU was dropped to sixth. They were left out of the playoff, and we never got to see that great team play in the college football playoff. And we got to, by the way, we had to witness Florida State and Jameis Winston play Oregon that year. And that's ah, that was an egregious snub, worst one of the playoff era. Now let's get to this year. What does this game look like? What does this matchup look like? Well, TCU's defense, didn't they turn it around last week? Boy, they played good. They played so well. They played hard. The defensive line was much better. They gave up three points to Texas's offense and 199 yards. Bijan Robinson, one of the best players in the country, 12 carries, 29 yards. In, in the last five games, their second halves have been really good. Now, they gave up, I believe, two touchdowns to Texas Tech. One of them was semi-garbage time touchdown. So you could really say that in the last five games, in the second half of games, they're giving up about five, six points a game. Like, that's really good. And I think that that will continue to trend in the right direction. They still have an offense, even though they didn't play great on offense last week at Texas, they still have an offense that has a quarterback that's in the Heisman Trophy race, an NFL back in Kendry Miller, and an NFL wide receiver in Quentin Johnston. Like, this is a really good offense that's still in the top 10 in scoring, by the way, in scoring offense. Baylor just got hammered at home 31-3 to last week by Kansas State, and in large part due to the fact they can't get off the field on third down defensively. In Big 12 play... Conference games only, they are last in the Big 12 and third down defense. That is that is not a good recipe when you're about to face a team that's balanced on offense, that has a quarterback that can run it, a running back that's really good and slashing and one of the best in the country. Kansas State held the ball for 37 minutes. TCU's only favored by two and a half. This isn't even kind of like a, do you like this sweater from your from your wife, right? Like we were all... Last week, I told you, like, does Vegas know something that we don't know? And and sure enough, it hits. This one feels same to me. TCU's only favored by two and a half. Granted, they're on the road. But this one's just more blatant. This is when your wife is just like, oh, she's pretty, isn't she? Yes. Yes, she is. TCU in two and a half. Absolutely. Honey, she's a smoke show. I don't know what you want me to tell you, but TCU, I'm taking it. And uh, taking TCU, they're covering the two and a half. She's really attractive. I don't know what you want from me. We've been married for 17 years. So honesty is what you're going to get from me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click 
subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.